everyone welcome back to my youtube channel salesforce room so today we gonna discuss about how to become a salesforce developer as a fresh so today i'll be discussing only those minimum bare topics like from where we can start our salesforce journey as a fresh so let's begin the video so the first thing which we need to keep in our mind that a good salesforce developer is also a good salesforce ad so we need to learn all these topics like how to create objects how to create page layouts and how to create fields and relationship how to write a validation rules and many more so these are the topics which we need to cover as part of salesforce developer so the second point is process builder so basically process builder is just a point and click tool which is used for automating your ideas or logic your business logic through a graphical representation and what we can do with a process builder like we can create or update records we can send emails or many more the third one is apex class so apex class is nothing but just a strongly typed object oriented language which is developed by salesforce for building software as a service or cr apart from that apex is a case sensitive language and in apex you can also perform your dml operations and apart from that you can also run your soql query and sosl query for finding any records from your salesforce organization or salesforce database the fourth one is soql and sosl so soql is nothing just a structured object query language which is used to search your organization's data sosl is salesforce object search language which we use when we don't know that the data which we are trying to find it is kept in which object or in which fields Apex triggers enable you to perform custom actions before or after event occurs to record in Salesforce, such as insertion, updates, or deletion. Lightning Web Component is just a kind of modern lightweight frameworks which is built on latest web standards and used for front-end development. The LWC component consists of three files of html javascript and xml and you can also include css file and there is also one second framework which is used for front end development in salesforce or a component but believe me guys as a salesforce fresher lwc is enough for front end development because it provides lots of functionality lots of modern things and nowadays most of the projects are being created on lightning web components only So these are the file structure of HTML, JavaScript, and CSS files which is used in LWC component. So guys, if you have any kind of suggestions or if you want any tutorial video based on Apex class, Apex triggers, LWC, so you can mention it down in comment sections. So thank you guys. Stay safe.